Battle of I-75 was especially important for UT's 13 seniors playing BG for the last time at home, playing at home for the final time. One senior in particular from right here in the 419, thankful to be playing at all. BCSN's Joel Sebastianelli has his story. There's a few short roads, only six miles, taking St. John standout Mitch Berg to the University of Toledo. But Berg's journey to stay on the field there has taken a couple unexpected turns. It's a dark road, you know what I mean? It's my, it was my senior year, taken away kind of, and I, I was I put in a lot of work with all these guys and everything like that, and it was just motivation to come back and play with them. Berg has played four years on the Toledo O-line, but after missing the entire 2020 season recovering from surgery to repair a torn labrum, he was out indefinitely to begin this season with a broken foot. Players in pain stick together. Berg knows that as well as anyone. Oh, it, it, it's extremely tough because the world keeps spinning. You're in the group of guys who are also in the same boat as you, so that's that's also a big, uh, we, we call it the injured group. Tyler Long was in there with me too. Dan Bolden was in there shortly after like the second game or first game. You have football, it's a violent sport, so the group kept growing. Everybody relies on each other to keep everybody moving and motivated and whatnot. The most overlooked thing in all of sport is what a guy goes through mentally when he's injured. You're hurt physically, they give you a six-week timetable, and. Most people just turn their back and say, oh, we'll see you in six weeks. You know, they don't do it on purpose, but naturally there's so many other things going on that, you know, you're not the focal point. You know, you're trying to get other people ready, and there's a lot of time spent in the training room by yourself. There's a lot of time spent that, you know, where it's a mental battle of, of you, you versus you. And do a good job of making sure you keep your circle small and understand the people that have your back and what, what that looks like to go through that. Berg pushed through rehab and weight training with strength and conditioning coaches Christian Clinic and Brad Bechet. And he made it back on the field October 8th. I played the like the tail end of the Northern um, game. They got in for a couple drives. They, they, they were like, you want to play? I was like, yes, of course, I would love, love to. For him to go through that, still decide that he's going to come back and play, uh, and then come back and play at a high level like he's doing, you know, I think it, it shows the character of him as, as a human being first and foremost, and, and really the love and care that he has for his teammates. Injury woes have served as a test for the whole offense, losing two starters on the line before game one, even playing without quarterback to Quan Finn at times. Down, but they've passed. Nobody ever wants to go through that. I think you find out a lot about the character of that room. Down, Adversity kind of strengthened them a little bit, you know, and brought them closer together, and that's what you'd like to see. It's been fun watching those guys gel, and you know, there's nothing, there's nothing more exciting than, you know, for anybody really in football than watching somebody impose their will on another person. That's why we all love this game. And they love the time they have left to play with each other. We're a tight knit group. We're all friends. Honestly, it's just like the cohesiveness of this group, especially with their online coach, Coach Hallett. When I happen, he just goes, "All right, get better. Next man up, let's go." You know, we got practice tomorrow. You know, the guys that like stepped up, they stepped up really well and hats off to them because that's on them too. And it just speaks volumes to our room, our coaches and like the culture we have here. With the Rockets, Joel Sebastianelli, BCSN.